Alright, what is going on guys? Cold War Zombies has been out for about a week and a half now, and I got about 15 to 16 hours played. So I think I'm in a decent position to kind of give my thoughts on it, do a little review sort of. Pros and cons, whatever you'll call it. So yeah, let's just get into this. Good, bad, no ugly. I'm not into that ugly. Start out with the pros. Pros right now for D Machine, Black Ops, Cold War Zombies. First thing I like about the map is the main Easter egg. I think the main Easter egg is really well done. You know, you've got a couple of like mid round steps, and then the final kind of uh, boss fight where you're just going up against a ton of Megatons and the red versions of them and splitters. It is really cool. And the soundtrack as well while you're in the Easter egg boss fight is just really awesome. You know, it's a really good easter egg, and then you get a little axe fill. I think this is definitely a, a great easter egg. Another pro for the map would be the perk, simp the perk system. So pretty much w what it's like is you have four perks, if you don't know. You usually, you have four perks and then you stop there, but in this map, what you do is you get more perks, and they go up in price every time, so by the end it's like 5,000 for... Deadshot, which is usually your last perk. And then you can get all six perks over time, which is really nice. You know, on a map like Mob of the Dead, for example, you'd get like four perks and then you'd not be able to get Deadshot. And it, you know, it'd kind of just be like, what? Why? Why not? But nah, none of that's here. You can get all four or all six. And then that does kind of, uh, I would say that it does kind of get rid of space for leaving side easter eggs because on, on a map like buried there would be like you kill the witches and you get an extra perk i kind of did like that system more but at least you can get all perks so that is good another thing i like is the kill streaks the chopper gunner is incredible the war machine's good as well the war bow sentry gun is like okay it helps a little sentry gun's not the greatest not gonna lie but yeah, the chopper gunner is freaking epic. Like, if you're doing an exfil, take a chopper gunner with you. That'll take out, like, half of the zombies just then. And then, the exfil system, that's also a great thing. Because if you want to just do a quick game and then, like, escape on round 10 or round 15, you can. But if you do want to have, like, a more, like, intense experience, get to high rounds, then... Instead of having to do, like, a suicide or, like, a last stand, camping in some really horrible <laughs> spot, you can just do an exfiltration, try to escape, earn some rewards. You know, it's a good system. I also like the, the kind of leveling system of the game, how you get raw crystals as you're going through, and you can use those to get upgrades. I mean, I've upgraded my Juggernaut, all my perks pretty much, except for Deadshot. And the upgrades are really good, you know, Quick Revive upgraded is just one of the best perks because you regenerate health at god tier speeds. And overall it just really encourages replayability the way the leveling system is set up. I haven't gotten a max level yet, I'm like level 46 right now, so I don't know how prestiging works yet, but it is a good system. And I do commend them for not putting in like Gobblegum or Elixirs or anything in the game. I, I actually never thought this would happen. But that is great that there's no more gobble gum because you're not using those to kind of activate all the perks on round one and cheese your way through the map. Another thing I like is the the equipment's really powerful. You know, C4 Molotovs, things like that. Also, the boss is pretty tough. You know, the boss has a lot of health. He actually has a decent shot of killing you. The wonder weapons are good. You know, the ray gun, the D machine, and the, especially the electric upgrade. And also the, the pack-a-punch system is decent, you know, you got all the repacks and the triple pack-a-punch system. That's pretty much all the pros I have for this map, so let's get into the cons now. The first con I would say is I, I don't like the armor system too much, honestly. Because the armor system, it's like kind of the replacement for the zombie shield, except it's not as mechanically engaging as the shield was. Like, I don't know, the armor, it's, how do I say this, The high, on higher rounds, the zombie's health goes up, right? So, like, on round 36-ish, the zombies start doing 75 damage per hit, and then you're a 3 hit down, even with, uh, even with Jug, and a 4 hit down if you got fully upgraded Jug. 
which is <laughs> kind of ridiculous. And it kind of just makes it so if you don't have armor, you're gonna die. And I just thought the shield was generally a whole lot better than the armor system. And another thing I don't like about the map on the cons list is that there's no traps. So you kind of have to use guns. I mean, traps were kind of an essential part to zombies before. So they're, they're just not game-breaking that they're gone, but it, it does kind of suck. Um, another thing is that the gun balance is a little out of whack. So the shotguns right now, the shotguns are completely dominating. And meanwhile, the SMGs, the ARs, the marksman rifles, pistols, anything like that, just way weaker. So uh, you kind of just feel like you have to buy the Spaz-12 and use that every game, which I don't like that much. I mean, that might be changed in an update, so I'm still holding out on that one. I don't know. Another con is the point system. The point system kind of blows because you only get 90 to 115 points per zombie, whereas you used to be able to spray into a zombie and oh, spray into a horde of zombies with like an SMG and get like 700 bucks instantly. And it's just takes out the takes out the depth in the early game because you can't point fire from zombies the same way. Like if you were smart in Black Ops 3, you could get like 250 bucks per zombie just spraying pistol shots in their leg on like round five. And it was just crazy, but you can't really point farm like that anymore, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, another thing is that some you, you do kind of start with a little too much power. This was carried over from Black Ops 4. It's not as bad, because the whole 4-hit thing, like how you started with Jug in Black Ops 4. But in, in this game, when you start, you've got the Specialist, you've got a knife, usually that's better than the Bowie knife was, that you had to pay 3,000 for in Dereef. And the zombies only do 30 damage, so you technically already do kind of have Jug. You just, you don't start out weak enough. Um, I'm just gonna sort through the last cons real quick. The weapon rarity system, not a fan of, because you just have to hit the box constantly, and it just doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like any gun can be great. You know, you, it feels like you just have to keep on hitting and getting orange gun. Even if you get, like, the Remington New Model Army, let's say that was in this game, if it was, like, a green tier, even though you'd love that gun, you'd have to switch it out for, like, a purple tier Barrett 50 cal, which isn't nearly as fun. So that's the really, the reason I don't like the weapon rarity. Also, the music, there's, like, not much of it. There's, like, three round change themes and one Easter egg song. Whereas there used to be, like, tons of music for each map. You know, like, Mob of the Dead when you went into the infirmary. That sort of thing. And the lack of characters does kind of suck as well. There should be more characters instead of just the generic operators. And the last con I'd say is that it's kind of annoying having to loot every zombie you, you kill, having to go over their body. That's all the cons I've got, though. All the pros and cons. So let's go on, give it a big score. From Transit being a 5 out of 10, to something like Mob of the Dead or Origins being a 10 out of 10, I would say this map, probably 7 out of 10 right now. So 7 out of 10, I'd say that's just about as good as, like, the Giant on Black Ops 3. You know, it's, it's pretty solid. It's fun. It's replayable. But it's not like you're great zombies experience, you know, there's not a ton to kind of do, and overall I feel like there's a lot of space to improve in this game, and I feel like Black Ops 2 and 3 zombies are still better than this, even though this is a lot better than 4, but hope you enjoyed the video, tell me what you think in the comment section below, is this better than Black Ops 2 or 3 in your opinion, is this worse than Black Ops 4, let me know, and I'll see you the next time, peace out.